All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another multiverse run. Um, I'm excited to be back. You know, um, we're gonna try a different ship this time. I think we're not just gonna be going down the uh, the normal path like we usually do. A lot of people were requesting to play a civilian ship, so we're gonna be trying that. They look a little bit funky, but you know, we're gonna give it a shot. Um, before that, as the time of recording this video, we are so close to a thousand subscribers. So if you guys are liking the content and you want to see more, whether it's this game, other games different mods whatever please consider subscribing it means so much to me we're so close um yeah so with that all said let's get started here we're going to be i think so we unlocked let's see where is it we unlocked this ship last time which seems pretty good it's got the halberd beam right off the bat it's got a combat drone uh which is cool and then it's got a couple different humans and engineer here seems pretty cool but i think we will like i just said we're going to be playing as a civilian cruiser this time so there are type B's and C's. To get the type B, we need to get sector 5. Okay, probably won't be a problem. And get to sector 8 with type B or B with type A. So hopefully we can knock out both uh, type unlocks for this thing, get both by this run if we play well. So somebody in the last video was saying that these kind of icons they have up here tell you more info about the ship that you can't see on the screen. So the humans, I guess that means it starts with humans or it's a human class ship. I think this means it starts with a shield recharge booster, kind of passive upgrade. The O2 one, I'm not quite sure what that means. And this means that it can carry 11 crew instead of the base 9, I think. So this can carry more crew. Or maybe it's 8, whatever. But it can carry more, which is the point, which is cool, which makes sense. It's a civilian cruiser. So let's just rock with this. Um, what have we got again? It's just four regular humans. Yep. Um, shields are normal. We got weapons the weapons aren't terrible honestly um they're not amazing but i think they're okay for for starting out emergency manual we'll, we'll take a look at it for sure when we get into some combat but i don't use this stuff most of the time so i don't know necessarily how good it'll be but that's all that's all good oh yeah and then here we go shield charge booster right okay cool so let's get started with the uh monotony <laughs> okay kind of a funny name on normal mixing it up here okay so here we go we are proceeding with our mission exiting hyperspeed boom the, I don't think we need the weapon this time. In fact, I think we'll take the crew member maybe. Since we're starting, we can have more crew on this one and we haven't taken this option. I don't know if it's just going to be another human, which would be kind of lame. But we're going to do this just for the sake of diversity. It is just another human, it seems. And then let's do our usual... Oh, not this. No, do something else. Do our usual free salvage mission. Uh, we just got a crew member, so I'm going to send a team. Oh my god, we got intruded in the launch bay. What is this? What is this? Is this a spider? Giant alien spider? All right, well, they're in the med bay, so they kind of finessed themselves. Okay. He's doing a staggering amount of damage, but he only has 85 health. I think this must be a giant alien spider, right? Interesting. Well, we seem to have taken care of him. Okay, so you, Frederick, have no skills either. Um, I think we'll just put you in doors then, right off the bat. Even though we only have humans, it is good to have a little bit more uh, manpower, I guess you can call it, around the ship. So let's depower this now. Okay. Ooh, wow, we have a lot going on here. One, two, three, four. I think we hit all of this. Four, five. We hit this one first and then go this way. Oh, we don't have the forward scanners this time, though. I've been getting real used to having that. Um, so not having it is going to be kind of a, a, buff, a bummer. There are only two ships within range, and they seem to be engaged in battle. One of them has the markings of a space pirate. Let's aid the civilian ship, and we will do nothing. So they have a terrible weapon set up. They are going to board us, but we have upgraded our doors already, which is good. Okay, so you don't... Suffocating you doesn't work quite as well. I think I'll just get you in here to fight. And then um, just get ready here. So we'll fire the pierce heavy on their shields, I guess. And we don't need to take their weapons out, which is good. So we can... Oh, we missed. Nice. That's fine. We can just do this and... So you're getting you're getting your ass whooped. That's all right, though. We'll get you out of there. You can come heal. We don't really need to dodge. All right. So we decimated that ship, to be honest. Pirate ship breaks apart. We contact the civilian ship. Ooh, and they give us Davion. Well, this uh, <laughs> the 11 crew cap is already... We're going to be hitting that soon at this rate, which is A-OK. -okay. So getting an NG is awesome. We'll put you in sensors, I believe. Wow, we literally have all of our systems manned already. Except for oxygen, but you can't man oxygen, so. 
I would say that is a success. So I also know, let's save. On the last ship we played, there was actually some secret airlocks kind of in the middle that I didn't notice until someone in the comments pointed it out. So let me take stock. We have airlocks on either side and back here. And I think that's it on this one. Because there's no interior. There was like a weird like central square that was actually outside. But I think we're good now. And our engines are not powered. That's why. Okay. So we're going to hit the store distress down to the supply, down to the other store. And just hope to build up a ton of stuff early on with this uh, Civi Cruiser. A merchant ship here is under attack from rebels. They're helpless against them, and you may be their only chance to survival. Well, we'll definitely be rescuing them. Uh, let's see. So what else can we do? We can check the emergency manual. Let's give it a look. So we can... Oh, we can make fuel now. That's pretty good, because that was the one thing we couldn't do before. And we can just get one free scrap. I mean, like, <laughs> I might as well, right? <laughs> okay. So they have this thing, which doesn't take down shields. This is a beam, and this, obviously, is a heavy laser. Okay. They can definitely hurt us, depending on when this thing fires. So we're going to hope for the best here. Let's uh, quickly get some better dodge for what it's worth. It was not worth a lot, apparently. Ooh, never mind it was. Okay, sweet. So let's quickly fire this on you, and then get this on the weapons. Perfect. And there's a massive fire. Yeah, they're in trouble. Okay, with their weapons down, I feel way, way better. And I should not have fired it like that. But you know what? You live and you learn. So make sure we're not auto-firing the heavy laser. Get the pierce one in. And then fire this. Nice. Okay, they're done. Didn't go so bad. We didn't even get hit because of our lucky dodge. Salvage what we can. Oh, wow. Look at this. Greed is eternal. Uh, maybe that means collect 10,000 cra scrap. <laughs> crap. 10,000 scrap in general. Okay, so going to be honest here. What is this? Recon drone. Reveals adjacent rooms and enemy crew and rapidly hacks and opens doors. Interesting. Takes reduced damage from enemy crew. Um, I don't... I don't know if I get this that much. Like, being able to see... I mean, the hacking and opening doors might be useful, I guess. But, like, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Okay. Crew, we don't need uh yet, at, at least. We got plenty of crew. And we don't have a lot of money, really, unfortunately. So... So we can convert this if you have the appropriate system, which I think we do. So an empty beacon, I think we can actually convert that. We are going to keep coming this way to get both these supplies, hopefully. And that could be useful because then we save, uh, free up an augment slot. It's been outfitted with a multiverse supply depot. Many such beacons were, yep, constructed. And we got 10 scrap, which is not a lot. Oh, they repaired us, but unfortunately we are at full health. Let's just do something on board. Let's upgrade a system. Onboard tech. Wait, wait, no, no, no. How do you do this? The shield performance. Whoa, whoa. Okay, wait. Performance. I haven't even checked this. So is this just like building a shield recharge booster or an automated reloader? How do I... Can I not... Well, I already did that. Pair the hole don't need. I don't know how to convert this thing into a shield like a, a permanent one what does it say again yeah so as an external system upgrade this augment will provide its normal effect but take up an augment slot can be con oops can be converted for free to the internal version under the internal upgrade menu if you have the appropriate system okay next time we get to a beacon or something we'll have to give it a lookout internal upgrade okay so we gotta see if we can figure that out a little later Traveling merchant, yeah. Uh, okay. I don't think I really want this. Um, we don't need it just yet. And crystal weapons, are, although good, are a little cumbersome for power. And the pierce can actually hurt you a little bit. And we already have a pierce weapon, so I think I'm all right with that. Let's do something aboard the ship. Let me internal. I don't. I'll die and see that. Life form respirator. Never mind. Getting a an arm is really good, and getting that scrap recovery arm. I do want to do that, but I think first we're just gonna. I still, I, I don't, I don't know where that, that menu is, whatever. So we got the doctor drone. We've seen this before. Pretty cool. More crew. Uh, not a lot. <laughs> kind of the same deal here. I can't really afford anything of, of interest. It's okay though. We'll hit the supply and up to the merchant. The merchant's good because we can sell stuff. Granted, we don't really have that much other stuff. Um, let's talk to our crew this time. Talk to the NG. 
appears to be watering a small alien plant. It cautiously orders you not to approach in fear that you might step on the plant. Dude, I'm not a klutz. Come on. All right, let's go to the merchant. I don't think we can really sell too much, unfortunately, because we didn't pick up that many. Uh... But let's see if we can do this. Drone parts? Uh, I don't really want to sell fuel. <laughs> Great. Okay, whatever. Whoa! Pro hole beam. Oh, it's a hole repair beam. Wait, what? Wait, huh? So this repairs other ships. Or does it repair your own? How do you target your own ship with this thing? Is it a drone? No, it's not a drone. It's a weapon. Okay. This seems really weird. If I could read the tool tips, I'd consider buying it. It looks really cool, but a hole repair beam to me means you shoot the other ship and repair their hole. Not sure I'm that interested in that. So I think I'm going to decline, but it was cool to see that. Maybe we can find it at a store somewhere. So this is a, annoying. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll go up this way. All right, well, let's continue onwards then. Another multiverse ship. Buy an engine upgrade for three. I think I'm okay with doing that, actually. Um, yeah, we don't have the, you know, crazy amount of fuel, but... I'd like to do this as well, low-key. Let, let's hold off for one more jump. We'll get a power first. Put that in here. Try to get a bit more money. Um, and then we'll get our level 2 shields, because I think that is always a good upgrade. And this ship is pretty standard, if you will. It's not a lot going on, uh, just off the bat here. Colonized moon. Let's examine the station. It has been stripped clean. Great. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Fuel, yeah. Uh, we, last run, we had a, a staggering amount of fuel. <sighs> Several civilian vessels have landed on a nearby moon around a Federation multiverse warp bay. You can see crowds gathering, but you aren't sure why. Let's investigate. So it's this one again. I'm going to send in a crew and risk losing someone. Okay, that's exactly what happened. Um, it's not the end of the world. Obviously, I would have preferred that to not happen. But, oh well. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, that should be fine. I, I did the other option last time, shooting down the civilian vessel. I wanted to see what would happen, but it didn't really... I can't do anything here. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Okay, can, it costs 60 to do this thing, right? Yeah, so we can't do that, but I do want that. So we'll, we'll come back to that. I like the look of this ship. The civilian vessel is quite cool looking. It's very normal. Okay. Nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease is spread virulently. They are setting up a quarantine to contain it, but a ride is broken out. Oh, we have an advanced medbay. I didn't even notice. Um, let's just send our NG crewmen, and we got some stuff. Nice. Okay. Having a level 2 medbay is, I'm not going to say a waste, because it was, like, free, quote-unquote, but it's not something I'm too interested in. Alright, well, we found a multiverse drive. Again, let's just get our free scrap. <laughs> Might as well. So they're hacking us. Not great. Um, where are they hacking us? Sensors, that is probably the best place they could have hacked us. Maybe the medbay as well. We're going to have some problems here, um, unless we get lucky with our dodges, which we kind of did there. So let's pierce into their shields. And then quickly take out their weapons as well. Nice. Took them all, all the way down. Perfect. This is still kind of a problem, for sure. But the timing... Oh, okay. They, they made a breach. Um, that's fine. You come fix that. And they should die with our next laser here. So hopefully... Why, oh, why are you... Oh, you can't get out here. The door's... Interesting. There's no door here. Okay, well. They're down. No, they're not. We missed. Ugh. We took more damage than we needed to. Great. All right, will you come fix this then? We have 60. So let's now um, get the arm. Early scrap gatherer. Do it. Never mind. Do nothing. Okay. So we spent some money there, which is fine. I, I know I said I was going to get the shields, but I, I want to get that scrap kind of rolling as soon as possible, you know? Okay, so we'll get these two jokers to heal in a second. There we go. Yeah, that's very interesting. The doors are cut off here for some reason. It's like everything else on the ship. Well, not everything. There's not one here either. Huh. This, like, this side has less stuff. Whatever. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I guess it means the doors are more secure unless they beam straight into the doors. This might be good because we can vent this, like, if they come in engines and try to get to the doors. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, well, Nebulous Sector or Nebulous Zone? Let's go to the Sector and see what we can find. We will proceed. So, it's unmapped. Oh, that means we have to find 
or no, is it? No, I don't know. No dominant faction, medium low. Okay, yes, this is the one where we have to find the uh, the exit beacon, which is fine. So let's uh, perform a task, run a salvage mission, and we found nothing. Great. Okay, a store. Don't really have a lot of money or anything to sell, so I don't know if we'll even hit that. But let's come up this way. Uh, I think we attack them. I can't see any weapons. They have an oh no, I can't. They have a pike beam and an ion blast or something. Let's just attack them. They don't have boarding or anything. They have drones, but I think we're just gonna attack them. I don't really want to trade. Let's again just get the free scrap, bro. We're slow and steady, man. Okay, so yeah, they can definitely do some damage with this setup, but. A little bit of dodging of this ion goes a long way. So let's quickly fire on shields. Did not dodge. And then immediately go for weapons. Nice. Took it down just in time. Okay. Good, good, good. Here comes the ion again. Missed. Perfect. That 20% dodge is doing big numbers for us. Let's blow this station up. Hopefully we can get some goods from it. It's a pirate station. You, you don't got to feel bad for them, you know? Nice. We're doing a lot of damage with these heavy weapons. Once they get level 2 shields, things get a little bit more complicated. 45? Uh, I don't I don't think I want to go to that store. Maybe I... Alright, I'm going to go to it because it connects to a lot of other beacons. Maybe there will be something here, but... Okay, so we could have hired a crew member. I think I'm okay. We, we got quite a bit. Let's head straight to the store. Okay, so they have the Falcata Beam. Does just system damage. I wish we had had this on uh, the run with the where we were trying to get the super weapon last run. This is what we were looking for. Ammo crate. Oh, we got a shell. We never bought one of these, huh? Can't afford one, and we don't have anything to sell. I mean, we could sell this, but it's. I don't think that's really worth it. This is interesting, but we just can't quite afford it. I think I think I'm okay coming here though because we can buy some fuel, and. We still want those level two shields. We definitely do. So let's come this way out of the uh, towards the out of the nebula a little bit. Well, nothing. So we will instead perform a task. No. Check the mission report. Is there anything here? Boss data. Oh, what is this? Okay, interesting. Um. Well, we'll just talk to the human. It's a low opinion of spaceship food. You can't say you disagree. Eh, seems fair. Another store, huh? This one we're not going to. It's it's a little bit of a waste. Oh, great. One of these. Oh, yeah. We'll do piloting. Oh, we have level... We have level two, like, everything, actually. Damn near. Other than sensors. That's pretty good, actually. Well, we'll have our pilot carefully explore. Let's go. Within the ship graveyard, you find one ship. It seems relatively untouched. On board, you find an unconscious passenger and take him back to the ship. Once awake, they offer to join your crew, and thanks. We got Mara, the slug. So even though Tack is getting quite a bit of XP, we're going to move him to sensors. Early on, having that pilot skill is not super duper useful. Um, you know, you don't take a ton of damage every fight. It's really just a flagship type type era that uh, you need a really good pilot. So we should be able to get tons of XP by then. Right, we have to find the exit beacon. Um, let's go into the middle here. See what we got. A ship, apparently. Oh, wow, this thing looks crazy. At first, you assume the static over the radio to be nonsense, but suddenly your translator starts to pick up words. A breather in Dynasty Space, how putrid. Turns my insides into coils of anger. I will unleash hell on you, scum. All right, again. Get that bread. Power this up. Power that up. Power O2 up. Okay. Oh my god, did you see that? They can go out. That's really cool. They went in space to, like, get across. All right, we're getting boarded. Indoors. That's okay, because you have... Oh, no, you have more health. What are you? Wait, what? Okay, well, you can come help, because you're not doing anything useful anyways. Don't have cloaking or anything, so we're just going to have to take the this missile to the face. Unless... Well, nice miss. Okay, that's fine. Here comes the missile! Ugh. Okay, they hit us for a lot of damage, but it didn't hit anything vital, which is good. Okay, so he's down. Again, I auto-fired like an idiot. But we did take that down. I think there's a fire in our ship. I can't tell. Either way, we'll just vent that room because better safe than sorry. Uh, we want heavy laser on their weapons, definitely. Oh, they just fired. Please miss, dude. Just 
did not miss. Again, I, I don't know if there's a fire or not, but might as well just vent. And just keep up the pressure on the weapons. Again, they fire just in time, but it's okay. We should be all right. Pierce Heavy does the job. Okay, nice. And they crumble. Let's close all our doors, get you, you into the med bay. All right, so we're going to need better weapons, but I think we definitely first need to get those shields up. Because, I mean, it didn't really matter that fight per se, but in general... Yeah, in general, that's going to be really helpful. So we'll do that. Can't afford any more power, which is unfortunate. So we can min -mac or uh, micromanage it a little bit later when we need to. Let's continue onwards this way. A large blip on the radar is detecting a massive ship moving around this nebula. Its giant size suggests it may even be a fleet ship. Let's search for it. You dive deeper into the nebula and are swatted out of the way by a giant tail. Luckily, no harm comes to the ship, but you're left in shock. The object you detected was no fleet ship at all but rather a humongous space whale. Um, This seems like a bad idea, but I'm going to do it. Luckily, space whales are so large that you can easily explore inside them. It seems another ship is exploring this whale, or maybe they're just a victim of the whale's immense appetite, but a nasty pirate ship locks onto you and attacks. All right, let's get our free money. And they got crystal weapons. Not great. Really not great. So we'll just do this. Hope for some dodges. In fact, these all have piercing, so we don't even need shields. Just go maximum dodge, I guess. And we took them both down. Enormous. Absolutely enormous. There's a fire in there, which is good. Um, they're not even bothering to put out the weapons. They're trying to... Yeah, they're trying to put that out. Let's just go uh, on their piloting, then. There we go. They cannot run. A breach. Yeah, they're, they're toasted. They're toasted. Okay. See ya. Easy peasy. The destruction you've brought upon the pirates has proven effective and their ship explodes. You crap the remains. And we're just out of the whale. We're good. Would have been cool if there was like a whale intestine background or something. Okay, we have a distress beacon. I think we come up to the distress and then down this way. Because I do want to find this exit beacon. Sooner than later, so I don't get stuck out here in this nebula. Civilian ship desperately hails you. Hey, we're civilian ship too, man. Space gas. Gas too thick. Oxygen system damage, too much gas. Let's rescue them. Wow, another free free crew. Seems a malfunction in the life support system, accompanied by a breach in the hull, led to the nebulous gases being sucked into the civilian vessel. Most of their crew appears to have already suffocated, but one survivor remains. Klutzkin. Again, we just we have too much crew. It's not a bad thing, but you know. Oh well. Alright, we're gonna come here and then we're gonna go up, I believe. Oh, music starting up. Sensors are no match for the slug's telepathic abilities. A ship you've never, you never even saw opens fire from a stern. Okay. Let's get our free money. It, it, that's going to make a difference. We're going to be spot on to buy something later on. And it's all going to be because we took the various um, upgrades. Or free scrap. Okay, so they have, uh, is this a a bio bomb? It's got the plus that makes me think it's healing, but it's orange, which makes, which makes me think it's a bio bomb. Which is obviously not great, because I don't want my crew to die. And then a basic laser. Okay, well, we'll just do our best to prevent them from shooting at all, if possible. There we go. It, I didn't see it in time. It was some bomb for sure, but... Uh, keep pressure on their shields, if possible. Just do this. Yeah, and a breach. Wow, we're making breaches for days. One more volley, and they should be down. Make sure we're... Oh, the music, though. Getting some good... Yeah, look at... Where's a... Uh, well, Mara, I guess, doesn't have that much XP yet. But that's okay. There's the exit. Okay, nice. What do we go? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. If we do that, we'll definitely... Yeah. Because hitting all of these nebulas will slow the fleet down a bit. Even though, at this point, it says we have to dive. We'll, we should be fine. I want a, f a nebula beset by a plasma storm. I kind of want to fight it. Which is risky, but I want free stuff. Or not free, but I want stuff. Okay, so what do they got? O2 is off. Really not great. I think we just do this and this. Oh, baby. Okay. Well, we can just go straight for their weapons. I think uh, doing this temporarily to get... Oh, nice. <laughs> A little bit of shields. Ugh, that, that miss? Not great. Not great. It's alright, though. Oxygen's down. That's fine. That's fine. Once we take one of their weapons down... Oh, my God! Okay, um, 
We're still fine on oxygen. It's okay. The miss is, you know, not great. There we go. Finally, their weapons are down. Now we can do this. Do this. And actually, at this point, don't need dodge. Just get uh, the other heavy laser on. Do this now. Do do. Nice. So they're trying to escape. That's fine. We're going to shoot their piloting down. Okay, now... Well, they're not quite dead, but they should be good. Okay. That went pretty well. I mean, all things considered, missing twice in a row is a bummer, but whatever. And was it worth it? I, that 31 scrap was 100% worth it. There's no universe where that was not worth it. Okay, let's jump out of here. Again, we're going to come up. Out of the nebula. Look at that beautiful planet. Wow, the ship looks insane. A critically damaged civilian carry ship is nearby. Scans show their life support is beyond non-functional and they won't live long. Let's let's try. Intruders on board. Wow. Scumbags. Okay, well, luckily they boarded in here, which is highly foolish. We can do some crazy preemptive venting strats and hopefully be all right. Let's get everything else powered up. They're not fighting us. They just beamed over to be, to be assholes. Close them in. There we go. We can actually do this as well. That guy's dead. Okay, they're fine. Just close all the doors. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm... Oh, actually, well, there's no store. Let's get uh, let's get a power. Let's get two power so we can get our heavy laser and this uh, a bit more. Keep 42 around just in case we need to make some upgrades or buy something. And let's continue. Let's do something aboard. We did a salvage mission already. We don't need to repair. Don't need a trap, really. I guess we'll just talk to our crew. I still don't understand how we're supposed to upgrade that system. I don't see the menu for it. Let's just talk to someone then. Talk to the slug. They sh they shrug. Dude, the slugs are so rude in this. Oh my god. To the internal under the internal upgrade menu. If you have the oh oh, so maybe that means if you have internal upgrade. I don't under I I think I don't know, dude. Whatever. We have the bonus, so it's not that that bad. I would just like to make it passive so we don't have to have a slot taken up, but whatever. Emptied trapper vessel drifts into the nebula. Around it lays a few mines, but it's hard to tell whether they're still active. Let's scrap it. We're probably going to take some hull damage. No. We did not yet. It appears you were mistaken about the trapper being empty. The ship activates as you move in, and senior intentions is hostile. They attack. Let's get some free money. So, they got a mine launcher, and they got a laser. I still haven't gotten this myself. It looks pretty cool, though. Here comes a mine. Was it a fire mine? That'd be kind of not cool if it was. Um, it is a breach mine. Uh, you can come help, since we don't... Oh, there's rocks in here. Whoa, whoa, these rocks look different. They look pretty badass, not gonna lie. I can't really tell, because it's just the slug sprites, right? But they look pretty cool. All right, well, you guys are down. Oh, look at that. While scrapping the wreckage of the trapper ship, you find a functional mine launcher weapon drifting in the midst of the wreckage. So we got a Sobek mine launcher, which is nice. Okay, get you healed. So that could be good. Um, we don't have that many missiles yet, but getting it online in certain situations might be, might be helpful. For sure. Let's come down here. What do we got? Parship hails you. We have an offer for you if you're interested in some scrap. If you're interested... All right, I'll listen. This sector ain't a friendly place. You know why? Slugs. Filthy bastards. Good for nothing except making punching bags out of. Interested in killing some? <laughs> you talk a lot of trash for someone in tentacle slapping distance. You let one of those filthy creatures live on your ship. You're disgraceful. All right, let's fight these, these uh, racists. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Detonate the ammunition reserves to cripple the enemy weapons? Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool because we could, at the by the flagship, if we keep this, we can just yeet 10 missiles and cripple their weapons. That seems really good to hold on to for the flagship because I will not need 10 missiles uh, unless I go heavy missile build, which as we know on this channel is a rarity. Okay, they have a pretty standard weapon setup. This thing, it's really just the missile that I care about at this point. It's all right though. So we'll do this. They have a shell and two like ghosts or whatever. Here comes the missile. Going right for our weapon. Nope, it's going for O2. That's fine, dude. The slug's in there, ready to fix. Ouch, by the way. You come fix that. You two both come fix this, actually. Okay, they got another missile off, which is annoying. Nope, sorry, guys. Soul Ray. 
All right, get you three to heal. And they got taken out. This action will no doubt have avenged many civilian lives. Perfect. Okay. So we got that handled. One, uh, I don't think I want to go one more jump. I think I'll just go to the exit here. It would get us a little bit of space on the Rebel fleet, but not enough. We'll explore. Ooh. For such an elegant name as the Spectral Dynasty, their ships are uncharacteristically hostile and violent. There's no better example than the vessel here as it approaches menacingly. Okay, let's uh, get some money. So they got lots of drones. Although, they might not be able to hurt us other than this, this dude. Okay, well, they boarded in here, which is obviously hilarious. I think with two layers of shields, I don't think they can do much damage to us. This is the only thing they can take down shields, really. Which is obviously good. Okay, fire this on shields and this on weapons. Yeah, I think we're good. We don't even really need to go for the weapons, I don't think. But, uh... Should be alright. Beamed him back. Okay. Not bad. We're doing pretty okay here. We're gonna need some more weapons. I know we have the Sobek Mine Launcher, which could be used for sure. But, I don't know. Alright, next sector. Rock Domain or Zoltan Dominion? Hmm. Um... I think I might go Zoltan Dominion, just to give us more options for the future. But, okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Again, make sure to subscribe. We're, we're making big things on this channel. And uh, thank I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching the videos and subscribing and everything like that and commenting. So, all right, thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.